anxiety decided to be like, hey Raven, guess what? What is it, anxiety? Your dog's gonna fail as a service dog. The world's gonna end. Everything's gonna suck. Did you hear that? Yes, anxiety, I was listening intently. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing ow. Because Riddler fell on my knee. But look who I have with me. I've got little fluffy butt. And his little fluffy butt. I got my bigger butt. And I got Sassy. We're all hanging out on the bed today. Sassy decided she wanted to sleep with me last night. So I picked her up and put her on the bed. And she was a happy girl. But now I've got... Oh, I got little boys laying on me and snuggling. You need to figure out that there's such a thing as edges. Riddler, there's such thing as edges, bud. Okay, down you go. Bye, Riddler. Good morning. Good morning. You want to say good morning? Oh, thank you. You guys didn't see that he was giving me kisses. Good morning. You want to say good morning to the internet press? <laughs> that was cute. You're very cute. They're going to get you. Ow! He hit my glasses, and now they've got nose art on them. You can't see that. Maybe you can. Not, well, yeah, a little bit. He, he gave me nose art. So, today, we're going to Costco. Yay, which means anxiety everywhere. But, we're not... I'll probably look up how to start collecting scent samples for scent training. And because I know I'll get a lot of anxiety from Costco. And see if they're going to be okay until I get home. So, yeah, fun times. I'm going to do some scent training. Excuse you, you stole my glasses that you messed up. Can I keep those? I'm sorry guys, the camera's going just everywhere. Apparently, I don't know how to film. How do you vlog? How do you camera? I don't know. Oh. Um, I also had a lot of anxiety last night around 2 in the morning. So whenever I take the dogs outside to go potty, I tend to also check my phone around that time. It was about almost 3 a.m. And there was a, somebody on Instagram who was like freaking out about a little boy going out in public and working and having an accident being like, oh my gosh, you're going to rush your dog in and burn them out completely. And then somebody else was defending me and being like, you know, it could have been a fluke. He's only gone to pet friendly places. Based on what she's posted, he's only been to Lowe's and Tractor Supply. Which kind of freaked me out because I'm like, well... You have been looking through my posts. Because it's been a while since he's been to Tractor Supply. Um. And of course I wrote back to them. I'm like, you know. Um. It was a fluke. He is housebroken. He. Like. Was very distracted. So he didn't tell me he needed to go potty. Um. And yes, he's been to Tractor Supply and Lowe's. They're both pet friendly. But I have called both places and made sure. And we've gone to these places for socializing and learning some things and exposure to weird smells. I've not actually put him to work. He's not ready. And I will not be taking him to non-friendly pet places until I believe he is ready to go. Um, so now my anxiety is getting high. I'm just thinking about that like, oh my gosh. Somebody basically thinks that I am rushing my dog and about to burn him out and I'm trying to defend myself. What if they never respond to it? They're going to think that I'm the worst dog trainer ever. Blah, 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 blah. And just because he peed in Tractor Supply, I mean, not Tractor Supply, in Lowe's. He did pee at Tractor Supply, though. That the world is ending. <sighs> Social media can sometimes really suck. 
but it could also be a good thing. I learned that from a lot of users, I learned about scent draining, so yay! So now we're just gonna chill out. I wanna try to keep from losing my mind, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! There's Miss Sassy Girl napping. Hi, Sassy Girl! The boys are downstairs playing. Um, I, like, it took a lot of energy just for me to pick up this camera. I am so tired. So, went out to lunch with my grandparents. We had Panera, that was delicious. And then went to Costco. As you guys know, I often call the grocery store hell. Places like Costco and Sam's are hell on crack. Because there's so much, so many things, a lot of people, a lot of noise. Anxiety was doing alright until close to the end at checkout where there was everybody and their mom. So, and I also played around on Snapchat. Ooh, and while I'm thinking about it, I want to give a shout out to a Snapchat user. Let me just check what her username is really quick so I don't mispronounce it. Alyssa Adams. You get a shout out today because she sent me a message through Snapchat saying that she loves my vlogs and loves being able to talk to me, which of course if you guys ever want to send me messages through Snapchat or even like private messages through any of my social media, go for it. I may not reply right away, but for sure I will get to you because I love talking to people and it also drives me crazy to see notifications. <laughs> so yeah, I got home, I'm super tired and I started getting really dizzy so I'm like I need to just go in my room and rest, which is what I am doing right now. Ooh, let me point out, my eyes look really blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, through Snapchat, I posted some more about my journey through Costco. And I showed my top two anxious behaviors, which is, of course, scratching and bouncing my leg. And it made me wish Emerald was ready to work. He's not. I know he won't be for a little while, but, you know, that's okay. So now I'm just gonna sit in my room, relax for a little bit, watch some YouTube. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So there's all my dogs on the floor. Two of them are finally wore out. Third one is always tired, but she's not allowed on the couch right now because she decided to go swimming in the creek. So she's wet. And smells like fish. Lovely! So, after the last vlog you saw, or the last clip rather, I took a nap. Like an hour nap. I tend to nap every day. I used to not be able to do that, but... I guess my brain has used up so much energy throughout the day that it's just like, well, tired. Then woke up, messed around with social media, played with dogs, and then anxiety decided to be like, hey Raven, guess what? What is it, anxiety? Your dog's gonna fail as a service dog. The world's gonna end. Everything's gonna suck. Did you hear that? Yes, anxiety, I was listening intently. And yes, that was the emoji that I used, the rolling eye one. <laughs> I think that's become my favorite emoji, is the one rolling eyes, because that's the one I tend to use the most, besides the one that's just like, hey. <laughs> but that one I just use with my best friends. Um, but yeah, I was feeling horrible. I was being, I was thinking that Embryo's going to fail as a service dog. It probably didn't help the comments that I got about why would you take him out in public when he's not housebroken? You're going to, like, ruin him already. And yes, he is housebroken. I've already explained that this morning, but now my brain's like, what if I am ruining him already? We don't go out in public very often, which, again, sounds horrible. It's one of those things of, you don't take him out in public enough. You take him out too much. You don't train him enough. You train him too much. There's never a middle ground. Because, yes, I don't train my dog every single solitary day. Because I can't always do that. Time-wise or energy-wise, I can't. I mean, we have what I call his dailies. So, you know, like, sit, stay, come, place, whatever. Any of that. And I've also been, at least once a day, having him um, review touch and alert. Um... 
And then I'll also work on heel with him when he's not around Sassy and Riddler. Especially Riddler because he's very distracting for him. Um, Mia, yeah, I started getting really anxious and... You alright, Sass? Okay. And like doing my scratching thing, so... I was like, okay, let's try to see if MRL will cooperate. Of course, he was also playing with Riddler, so he was a little distracted, but... I'm trying to get him to learn alert two ways. I with his nose or with his paw. I also have accepted licking because that was actually how I trained Riddler. Um, but I think MRL figured out that I really wasn't feeling well because anxiety was rising. I was basically having an anxiety attack because he would come to me and he would basically block me. He's never been trained to block. And Riddler would do the same thing, but it was mainly MRL. And of course I'm being like, MRL, alert! And like doing the scratching thing, trying to get him to do what he's been learning. And Riddler started doing the alert behavior that I trained him to do a while back. Um, yes, Riddler did know alert. I used him as a training guinea pig. I taught him to lick my hand rather than paw me. But I was amazed. He actually did his alert for the first time in over a year, I'm guessing. So good job, Riddler. Um, but then I ended up going to scratching at my arms and I was telling little boy, you know, alert. And he's looking at me like, wait, I've not seen this behavior before. What are you trying to do? But he did eventually nose me. So he got a reward. And I got him to alert a few more times for treats. I don't have treats conveniently placed out in my room and I should probably do that. Um, but yeah. It made me feel a little bit better. I'm like, oh, he does have hope as a service dog. Hopefully. Um, but of course, Brain's also like, hey, guess what? I'm just like, Brain, shut up. So, right now I am working on yesterday's vlog and trying to get these anxious thoughts to leave me the heck alone. I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. So there's my little angel. About to go to bed. So are these guys. Um, we're going to bed a little bit later because guess who forgot to do laundry again? It wouldn't be a big problem except for the fact that I have three work uniforms and I work three days a week. Do the math, I need to do laundry. So, <laughs> yeah, to wait an hour and 36 minutes to get my laundry done and then put it in the dryer and then I'm like, okay, it's in the dryer now, I could go to bed. Um... I've pointed this out before, I'm going to point it out again. My dog is awesome. He is the most forgiving dog. Like, of course, my mind earlier was like, Hey, your dog sucks at being a service dog, and he won't be a service dog. And then, of course, I was worried about what other people were thinking online. But, one, I need to keep reminding myself, let it go. There's a reason I have it tattooed. And, of course, little boy, he's a puppy. So, he's not going to be perfect right now. He will. I mean, he won't ever be perfect, because no dog is. He'll be a lot better than he is now, one day. But for now, he just has to be a good little boy. Learn your basics, and learn your tasks, and just be a good little boy. Can we do that, Pupper Doodle? So... The rest of my night has been consisting of FaceTiming Jordan, which was a lot of fun. And then watching YouTube videos and then looking online. Of course, I saw drama brewing on Instagram. I'm not even going to go into that. I refuse to go into any Instagram drama because, no, internet drama is dumb. For all you guys out there, what is this? That's not pee. Where did this wet spot come from? I have no idea, but it does not smell like pee. Um, for any of you guys out there who are affected a lot by internet drama, just know it's not worth it. It's people hiding behind a screen. That's really it. I know some people tried to drag me into internet drama literally within the first few days of me being on Instagram, period. But just know you don't have to fall into it. You do you. Stay out of things. 
If they're not your business, stay out of your business. Don't start a fight, but finish it. That's what I've always heard. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Um... How do you, like, when you're in those times when you're, when you're thinking your dog is just going to be a horrible service dog and going to wash out or whatever, how do you get your mind out of that? Like, out of that mind frame? It takes me a little bit, but basically, I have to see through MRL that, you know, he can do things. He can do his tasks. He does his basics. Does he do any of them perfect? No, absolutely not. But one, he's a baby, and two, he'll never do things perfect because he's not a robot. He is a dog. So I have to, like, have physical reminders that just because my dog isn't doing good today doesn't mean he's going to fail always. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Fluff Bite. Good night, Bigger Bite. Good night, Sassy Girl.